What is up, everybody? This is Bacon Chris here, and today I am at SeaWorld Orlando. Yes, this is another day at Orlando, and I can't wait to be riding Kraken, Manta, and there are two other roller coasters, Mako and Icebreaker, and I'm riding Journey to Atlantis and Super Grover's Boxcar Derby. SeaWorld is a very nice aquarium and theme park all into one. So, let's head inside the park. All right, here's the entrance of SeaWorld, the Sky Tower, and there's Mako in the background. Can't wait to ride this. All right, I'm finally in the park. SeaWorld Orlando, the most iconic sign. And there's Manta. I can't wait to ride that coaster. Let's see if this coaster can make a splashdown. And it did. All right, first ride of the day, Kraken. I'm excited to ride this B&M coaster. It's my favorite of all time. There's the test seat. Zero minute wait time. Let's ride this. Since Kraken is closed right now until 11, I'm gonna go head over to Mako. The B and M hyper coaster. All right, there's Kraken. No, there's Manta flying by. It's no waves and all sharks. Right here comes my train for Manta. Wow, that Manta was amazing. It was better than Superman Ultimate Flight, and I've been on this coaster ten years ago. But right now, I'm gonna go see a dolphin show. I like dolphins. And I hope to go see a Samu Shore. And then after that, I'll go ride Kraken and Manta. They'll be open at 11 o'clock. Seven Adventures. I'll ride you later, Manta. All right, next up. Big or big the average bottle nose dolphin can weigh as much as an upper eight. Now, dolphins will hold their breath to forage for their prey, which largely consists of fins, squid, and the occasional crustacean. In order to catch fast food and slippery fish, dolphins can use their powerful tails. What a show. I just love all the amazing tricks that they do. And now, since 11 o'clock's gonna be there, I am gonna go wait in line to ride Mako. Because it's Mako in me crazy that you have to wait later. And then I'm gonna head my way to Kraken. Maybe get more rides from Kraken, Manta, and Mako. Then can check out Sesame Street Land even though I'm too old for that, but I love Sesame Street. So, just I am 24 years old and I still love Sesame Street. Hey, there's Mako, so I think I'm gonna be going on that first, first ride of the day. It looks amazing. Mako, the test seat. All right, there's Kraken coming into us. Can't wait to ride that coaster. All right, here comes my train. Wow, I really enjoyed Mako. It was an awesome ride, an awesome B&M hyper coaster. It was better than a polished Terry at a Nitro and possibly Candemonium. But I hope to go on that coaster again soon. Next ride of the day, Kraken. 
A zero I middle. Feel a cracking over there. One thing I don't like about SeaWorld today is that they're at one train operations. So the story begins. I always say that every time a floorless coaster gets detached out of the station. But this is my ride vehicle. Going on Kraken for a second time. Right. I just rode Kraken for the second time and I'll ride on this coaster again. Right now, I think I'm gonna go over to Journey to Atlantis. It's hot outside. And then after that, I'll go over to Sesame Street land. Ride of the day, Journey to Atlantis. Time for another ride on Kraken. But I'm gonna try to do the very back route. I'm already soaking wet from Journey to Atlantis and I went on that ride twice. Now I'm gonna go to the very back row of Kraken. Going on front row again because the line is extremely short. Three times on the Kraken. That is amazing. I'm so glad I rode it. All right, for my next exhibit, I'm going to... Oh, look. Where did the Mandarin ducks go? All right, time for the next exhibit. Shark Encounter. I love this attraction because there's like an escalator. Well, actually like a, one of the airport things and what you see at Universal. Fish. Nothing but fish. Can't wait to go on the escalator. Here are some skeletons of shark teeth. Over here you can see some fish. Like clownfish and all the other fish. The shark. Over here is the more fish. This is my favorite part of the exhibit. The escalator. And that shark doesn't even look that happy. Unhappy sharks. Reminds me of Adventure Aquarium a bit. You're in their world now. All right, I'm about to be exiting the shark encounter. That is a very nice mural. This mural is by Guy Harvey. Very professional. All right, you can see sharks and stingrays. I don't know if they're manta rays. Oh wow, this is Infinity Falls Raft. Can't Since wait Infinity ride. Falls is closed, I'm gonna go over to Sesame Street Land. All right, I'm about to enter Sesame Street Land. It is a sunny day. Thinking about clouds all day. On my way where the air feels sweet. Can you tell me how to get to Sesame Street? Well, I know where it is. Right over there. The carousel. And then there's photos with Elmo and friends. Cookie Drop Tower, Abby Kadabi, and I want to go see Elmo. Right, there's Ernie's Flashing Playground. Rubber Ducky, you're so fun. And then there's the food truck. It's Friday today, Super Grover's Boxcar Derby. This used to be Shamu Express. But I'm excited to ride this roller coaster. I have to earn the credit. I'll also go on Icebreaker too. All right, here comes my train. I'm getting Abby Kadad like fun. But I enjoy Super Grover's Box Bar Derby. All right. I just got wet at Ernie's Splashdown and I did go on Boxer. Super Grover's Boxcar Derby, but unfortunately, for the second time after I went on the Ernie's Splashdown, I can't go on the ride wet. All right, next ride of the day, Icebreaker. And then I rode all the Sea World coasters. I really enjoyed Icebreaker. I went on it not once, but I twice. I went on Icebreaker not once, but twice. So I'm gonna go get something 
All to right, eat. I got myself some Dippin' Dots, and I'm glad that SeaWorld gift cards actually accept food. They're super groovy. Going down. Almost choo choo. So I'm on the Elmo train ride. Yes. Can you find a I know where it is. How to tell her too, Elmo. I see the snail, Elmo. I love your silly laugh, your smile, and your nose. Can you go ahead and touch your nose? I just love the view of Mako over there. All right, it's time for me to go on another ride on the Mako. It was an awesome roller coaster. I'm going to try to go on the back row. All right, Mako's going up the lift hill. Mako. Wow. Mako was amazing. First time and I did the very back seat. It's a great experience. All right, I'm heading into Antarctica. Welcome. Oh, it feels so nice in here. All right, here comes the experience. All right, penguins are splashing. Close for today. All right, here's another view, and you can see penguins swimming underwater. The penguins are swimming. So an amazing trip. All right, here's some alligators or crocodiles. I don't know what the difference is. And then there's a turtle. Right. Here at SeaWorld, you can see the manatees, one of the largest animals in the ocean. All right, I'm at Dolphin Encounter, where you can see dolphins swimming while you're underwater. Just keep swimming. In the hot Florida sun, it feels nice to be underwater with the animals, but I wish I could swim in this water when the animals are not present. Here's a dolphin up close swimming towards me, but she actually can touch him. All right, time for another ride on Manta. All right, I'm going to go to the back row of Manta. Pretty fun. Manta is coming back. Mark Andrews. I can't wait to ride. How about you? Love it. First time. Let's see what happens. One ride down. Now ready for another ride on the Manta. Unfortunately, I have to leave Manta because it is raining outside and it's better to say than sorry not to ride the Manta. It's raining out, so I guess I'll go on Arctic ride and turtle truck. Well, that's going to wrap up my BCA on going to SeaWorld. I do plan on coming back soon, and I do plan on going to the other SeaWorld parks, such as Busch Gardens, Florida, Busch Gardens, Williamsburg, and Sesame Place. So, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next adventure. I gotta get out of this rain.